On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, we have a collision in the North Sea. I'm your host, Sal Mercogliano. Welcome to today's episode. So a collision just took place this morning in the North Sea with a rescue that's ongoing. I'm going to give you a little information on the background of this vessels involved and also talk about what we know from the collision happening via AIS. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. This is the story over in BBC. One person has died, four others are missing after two cargo ships collided off Germany's North Sea coast. Two of the seven crew members on board the British flag Verity, which sank after the accident, were rescued. Rescue efforts are continuing, and the German Coast Guard said divers were searching the shipwreck on the seafloor for signs of life. The Verity reportedly collided with the Bahamian Polesse at around 5 o'clock local time on Tuesday morning. The Verity was on the way to the UK carrying steel from the northern German city of Bremen when it collided with the Polesi, which had departed Hamburg on a journey to La Corona in Spain. None of the 22 crew on the Polesi were injured. The incident happened off the coast of Heligoland, a German archipelago which is part of the state of Schleswig-Holstein. That's a lot of German I'm using right there. All right, let's take a look at this and delve into the ships and what happened. All right, this is the Verity, a very small ship. Uh, matter of fact, the, the caption here is friendly little fish in a very big pond. So built in 2001 at the Teal shipyard in uh, the Netherlands, the ship is registered in Great Britain with seven crew on board, as was mentioned, very small vessel, 91 meters length overall, 13 and three quarter meters beam. Uh, here's the much larger uh, handy size bulker Polesi built in China in 2009, 38,000 tons, 189, almost 190 meters in length, uh, Bahamian flagged. Uh, this collision would have been catastrophic uh, between the two vessels. And as you'll see, it looks like the Polesi hit the Verity on the starboard side. And that is because of the nature of the crossing situation. So this is Verity and her departure from Bremen, uh, the other vessel, the Plessy, came out of Hamburg at almost the same exact time. Both these vessels were sailing out kind of uh, in sync with each other. And you'll see the Verity coming up into the North Sea, entering out into Channel. Now, these ships are going to meet in what's called a crossing situation, where the two vessels are going to get very close to each other. And under the international rules of the road, there's a procedure by which the ships should follow when they get into a position like this. So this time is 0233 UTC time, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, Verity is on a course roughly about north, northwest, uh, heading up to Iffingham. Pelesi seems to be heading almost due west at this time. Verity is at 7.7 .7 knots. Pelesi's at 11 knots. So these two ships are basically closing in each other. And what you have in this situation is a position that the Verity's in that she is the giveaway vessel. So Pelesi will be showing her red running light. The ships have two running lights, red on the port side, the left side of the vessel, green on the starboard side. And when you see the red light in this situation, that's the stoplight. You have to give way. One of the things you'll notice, I'll let this run here for a second. As these ships move, the angle to Pelesi from Verity is not changing. You're on a constant bearing. And constant bearing is a flag that, okay, something's wrong. Not only are you on a constant bearing, but you're at decreasing range. And that constant bearing decreasing range means you're going to hit. It means a collision is imminent. Now, this ship has a very small crew, the Verity seven personnel on board so the question i have right off the bat is is anybody paying attention to traffic at this moment uh, are they cognizant of what is out there they've probably gone on autopilot in other words they set a course and speed lock the helm in on that and are they watching their radar their collision avoidance systems to see what's going on in a situation like this as you have constant bearing decreasing range Verity on the port side here should give way, meaning she should turn to starboard. She should make a turn to the right, kind of go start heading almost due north or northeast to cross behind Pelesi. But notice here is the Ionia. Ionia, big, huge passenger vessel coming in, 10.6 knots. 
you don't want to get in front of that vessel either. You don't want to be in a position between two vessels. So the question I have, is Verity even cognizant of what is happening here? And as you zoom in here a little bit more, we start seeing this play out. So you see a change in course for Pelesi. Now, they should have been calling each other on their international hailing frequency on the VHF channel 16. One of the reasons you have AIS, this system, is so that you can call ships by name. They should have been calling Verity by name. Hey, Verity, this is Pelesi. I am off your starboard bow. What are your intentions? Uh, I've got constant, you know, uh, constant bearing, decreasing range. You are the giveaway vessel. Are you going to give way? They don't. And what we see here is Pelesi is changing course. It is coming to port to left to cross behind Verity. There's a point when you reach called in extremis. When a collision is imminent, when you're in extremis, all ships have to give way. Uh, it's not. Usually the burden, it would be on Verity. Verity is the one that's supposed to give way. But if it's not apparent that it's going to give way, if it's going to maintain course and speed, all ships have to, through due diligence, try to avoid this. Remember, but unless he's the bigger ship, it is harder to turn. Verity is the smaller ship. It is more maneuverable, more able to turn. Let this run for a second. All right. Now you see Verity has turned to the right, even though the track here is a little bit off. It is turned to the right. It's almost coming due north. The ships have turned into each other. And that is the worst case situation. Both ships are now maneuvering. And it is very hard to get control of this situation at this point. I'd almost guarantee you there are horn signals being blasted, five short for the danger signal. And it appears that Verity has woken up to this position that they're going. Their, co their collision avoidance system probably hadn't registered the change in course here for Plessy. It's probably showing a track passing just above them. But they've gone ahead and initiated their change. And now you see Verity coming hard left at this point. It's trying to turn around. You had a position here where you either turn hard right, try to get inside a Plessy here, try to pass this, this kind of port to port passage. And instead, they're going to veer hard left and try to cross in front of their bow. And what happens here is Pelesi actually maneuvers too. They swing back the other way, and it looks like they're both chasing after the helm here, and then you get the collision. You get the collision between the two. And Verity basically, it appears, runs, excuse me, Verity is run down by the massive bulker. And the situation is Verity will stop broadcasting at this point, you see Iona maneuvering out of position here to get away from the area uh, to prevent this from happening. And now you have ship going down. Uh, not enough time to get into lifeboats or anything like that. You're going to just have a loss of the vessel. This is the area right now. You'll see vessels in the area conducting rescue. Here is Verity at the time. Uh, you see some other sites here from earlier when the Ionia launched its rib boats. So Iona, a big, large passenger ship, would have launched some of their vessels. Uh, you're seeing other vessels in and around the area. At one time, there was about 11 tugs and other rescue boats in the area. And as we talked about earlier, that rescue is ongoing to try to locate the other two crew members. Unfortunately, this looks like a rules of the road incident that went badly. Uh, Verity was the giveaway vessel. Uh, it did not give way. And then when it eventually did, the situation was an extremis and you get the collision. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I, I didn't. I never like talking about when somebody loses their life at sea. But hopefully somebody will pay attention to this and, and realize that they need to act in a similar way. The way we learn to prevent accidents like this from happening is by studying incidents like this and making sure we don't get ourselves into those positions. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Until our next video, this is Sal, signing off.